GeForce 256. Before 1999, your CPU did all the heavy lifting. Then one chip changed gaming forever. In 1999, Nvidia dropped a bombshell, the GeForce 256, the world's first true GPU, a graphics processing unit. Until then, your CPU did all the math for 3D games, crunching geometry, lighting, and textures at once. The result? Choppy frame rates and blocky visuals. But the GeForce 256 flipped the script. It introduced hardware, transform, and lighting, meaning it could calculate how light bounced off 3D objects directly on the graphics card itself. This freed up the CPU and made games feel dramatically smoother and more lifelike. The chip could handle roughly 10 million polygons per second, a jaw-dropping feat at the time. That single leap laid the foundation for modern gaming graphics. Its name, GeForce, short for Geometry Force, hinted at its focus, pure geometric power. Developers suddenly had room to push realism in ways never seen before. Reflections, shading, and animation flourished. The card's design even influenced graphics chips in consoles and professional workstations. Practically overnight, NVIDIA went from a niche hardware company to the new titan of gaming tech. The GeForce 256 didn't just upgrade visuals, it created an industry standard that defined the GPU as we know it today. GeForce 3 and 4? When NVIDIA launched the GeForce 3 in 2001, it didn't just make games faster, it made them beautiful. This was the first consumer GPU to feature programmable shaders, a technology that let developers go beyond static lighting and flat surfaces. For the first time, water could ripple, fog could roll, and light could dance dynamically across metal and skin. Every visual element felt alive. The GeForce 3 Ti 500 was a powerhouse, but its influence stretched even further. Microsoft chose its architecture for the original Xbox, marking the first major partnership between PC and console graphics. Then came the GeForce 4 in 2002, refining the formula with higher clock speeds, better anti-aliasing, and improved memory bandwidth for smoother, cleaner visuals. Even budget-friendly MX models gave everyday gamers access to advanced effects once reserved for high-end PCs. Suddenly, everyone could experience cinematic realism at home. This era transformed NVIDIA from a hardware brand into a cultural name. Games like Morrowind, Splinter Cell, and Battlefield 1942 showed what was possible. For millions of players, this was the first time graphics made them stop and stare. The future of visual storytelling had truly begun. GeForce 8 Series When the GeForce 8 Series launched in late 2006, it didn't just upgrade graphics, it reinvented how GPUs worked. Powered by the brand new Tesla architecture, the flagship GeForce 8800 GTX introduced unified shaders, a revolutionary idea where every processing core could handle any type of task geometry, lighting, or pixel shading instead of being locked into one role. That flexibility meant massive efficiency, smoother gameplay, and performance that nearly doubled the previous generation. It was the first GPU line fully compatible with DirectX 10, unlocking dynamic lighting, soft shadows, and realistic particle effects that redefined gaming visuals. But the true innovation was hidden under the hood, CUDA. NVIDIA's new parallel computing platform allowed the GPU to be used for more than just gaming. Suddenly, developers could use the same chip for video rendering, simulations, and even early AI workloads. What started as a gaming product quietly became a scientific tool, a foundation for today's deep learning revolution. The GeForce 8 series didn't just push pixels, it pushed boundaries. It marked the moment GPUs evolved from gaming accessories into essential computing powerhouses, shaping the trajectory of both entertainment and technology forever. GTX 10 series In 2016, NVIDIA unveiled the Pascal architecture, and with it, the legendary GTX 10 series, a lineup that defined an entire era of PC gaming. Built using a 16 nanometer process, Pascal chips were smaller, cooler, and far more efficient than anything before. The GTX 1080 shocked the industry by outperforming NVIDIA's previous $1,200 Titan X at nearly half the cost, offering unbelievable value and power. It wasn't just faster, it was smarter. Introducing GPU Boost 3.0, which automatically adjusted performance in real time to squeeze out every frame possible. Then came the GTX 1080 Ti, a near-mythical card that made 4K gaming truly playable for the first time. With 11GB of high-speed GDDR5X memory, it crushed benchmarks and became the go-to GPU for streamers, YouTubers, and creators worldwide. The more affordable GTX 1060 dominated Steam's hardware charts for years, proving Pascal wasn't just for enthusiasts, it was for everyone. This generation hit the perfect balance between efficiency, performance, and price. It powered VR headsets, 4K monitors, and competitive eSports setups alike. For many gamers, the GTX 10 series wasn't just an upgrade, it was the golden age of PC performance. RTX 20 series 
the RTX 20 series, powered by NVIDIA's Turing architecture, was the boldest move the company had ever made. For the first time, graphics cards included dedicated RT cores for real-time ray tracing and tensor cores for DLSS AI-powered upscaling that boosted frame rates without sacrificing detail. In plain terms, your GPU could now simulate how light actually behaves in the real-world reflections, refractions, shadows, and glow, all interacting dynamically in real time. The flagship RTX 2080 Ti became the world's most powerful gaming card, capable of 4K performance that looked almost lifelike. But at launch, few games supported ray tracing, and many gamers were skeptical. It was expensive, and the early benefits were limited. Still, Nvidia was playing the long game. As titles like Control, Battlefield 5, and Minecraft RTX rolled out, players saw the difference light and shadow behaving with cinematic realism. The RTX 20 series didn't dominate in raw sales at first, but it shifted the industry's direction. It transformed GPUs from brute force machines into AI-assisted renderers. This generation was NVIDIA's moon landing, controversial at first, but destined to redefine what real looks like in gaming. RTX 30 Series When NVIDIA launched the RTX 30 Series in 2020, it felt like a generational leap, not just an upgrade. Built on the new Ampere architecture, these cards delivered up to twice the performance of their predecessors. The RTX 3080 instantly became a legend, a true 4K powerhouse that offered flagship performance at a surprisingly fair price. Meanwhile, the beastly RTX 3090 packed 24GB of GDDR, 6X memory, capable of handling 8K gaming and heavy creative workloads like 3D rendering, AI modeling, and video production. Under the hood, NVIDIA introduced second-generation RT cores and third-generation tensor cores, dramatically improving ray tracing and DLSS 2.0. Suddenly, ultra-realistic lighting no longer meant sacrificing frame rate. The 30 series also brought reflex for eSports precision and broadcast for AI-powered streaming tools, showing NVIDIA's push beyond gaming. But there was a twist, global chip shortages and scalpers made these cards nearly impossible to buy. The scarcity turned the 30 series into a cultural phenomenon. Despite that chaos, it became one of the most beloved GPU generations ever. Ampere proved one thing loud and clear, raw power and smart AI were now inseparable. RTX 40 Series In 2022, NVIDIA's RTX 40 Series arrived, and it didn't just raise performance, it redefined what a GPU could do. Built on the Ada Lovelace architecture, this generation introduced DLSS 3, an AI-driven breakthrough capable of generating entirely new frames between existing ones. Instead of simply upscaling, the GPU could now invent motion, boosting performance by as much as 70% without visual loss. The flagship RTX 4090 became a juggernaut, dominating 4K benchmarks and even pushing triple-digit frame rates in ultra-demanding games. Under the hood, the 40 series featured third-generation RT cores and fourth-generation tensor cores, making ray tracing and AI acceleration faster and smarter than ever. It was also more efficient thanks to TSMC's 4 nanometers process, allowing unprecedented performance per watt. Creators saw massive gains too, cutting render times in half while running complex 3D or AI workloads. But this generation wasn't without controversy, mid-range models like the RTX 4070 Ti faced backlash for steep prices. Still, the raw power was undeniable. The RTX 40 series wasn't just faster, it was smarter. Nvidia had officially moved beyond graphics. The GPU had become a creative engine powered by artificial intelligence, RTX 50 series. The RTX 50 series, powered by Nvidia's brand new Blackwell architecture, marks the true fusion of graphics and intelligence. This generation doesn't just render pixels, it predicts them. Featuring DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation, these GPUs can create multiple frames at once, making gameplay smoother and more fluid than ever. Combined with lightning-fast GDDR7 memory, bandwidth and data throughput skyrocket, enabling frame rates that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. Leading the pack, the RTX 5090 stands as a technological marvel. Nvidia claims it can deliver up to double the performance of the RTX 4090 while using advanced AI algorithms to enhance lighting, texture detail and realism in real time. Every frame feels cinematic, not just rendered, but crafted. It's built for a new generation of hybrid creators who game, render, and train AI models all on one machine. Of course, the pricing sparked debate, but for many, the power justifies the premium. The RTX 50 series represents more than another leap in gaming, it's the dawn of AI-assisted creativity. The GPU is no longer just a tool for visuals, it's an intelligent partner, shaping the future of digital worlds and imagination itself. From the humble GeForce 256 to the mind-bending RTX 5090, NVIDIA's journey is more than just a timeline of hardware, it's the story of how imagination becomes visible. Every generation didn't just make games prettier, it redefined what was possible. 
we went from pixels to realism, from lighting tricks to AI-powered worlds that think, react, and evolve. And as GPUs grow smarter, one thing's clear, we're no longer just pushing polygons, we're shaping reality itself.